How you doing guys? Big Mac Dance Call here today, back once again with another video for you. It's time to unbox some Death Guard Miniatures. That's right guys, I'm going to be unboxing some Death Guard Miniatures and maybe I'll build one or two of them up as well for you so you can get a good look at what I have bought. This is the Space Marine Hero Collection Series 3. Um, and it is, in this case, Death Guard miniatures, six different ones. Theoretically, uh, this display box should have one of each of the six. So I should have all of the six here, and I don't need to go out buying any more blind boxes after that because I've got the entire collection. Um, I wanted these because I wanted to add them to the Death Guard force that I got uh, through collecting the Conquest magazines, and I want these to be like the last thing I add to the force kind of a deal, uh, just to top it off. And then, you know, that'll pretty, but pretty much, rather, be my collection of Death Guard complete. Um, unless I, you know, get the urge to buy more Tari and pick one or two things up in the future. Um, I doubt I'll ever play the Death Guard as a faction on a regular basis. Other than on the channel when, um, when I get back into the swing of doing bat reps when I finally touch on 9th edition. So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, spin the camera around and take a desk down view of me. Unboxing these. Here we go, guys. Let's get the first pack opened. Got my uh, package opening knife present. I can't seem to retract it. Let's see which miniature we've got here. First of all, this is a dude with a knife. Some kind of a staff. Oh, it's the one with the flail. So this is Scabbath. By the looks of it, this dude here, he's got a fantastic looking head there, um, as you can just see. Uh, but what I'll do is bring the sprue up for you to see. There we go. So there's a helmeted head with like a single eye, or there's this head here, which is um, like a really a scowling, horrible, um, rotten face uh, for want of a better word each of these miniatures comes with a nurgling as well that you can see just here so uh, that's the first miniature open so we've got a scabbard let's move him to one side and get the next as long as it's not scabbard again we're on track to have all six so this sprue definitely looks different so it's a guy with a grenade and he's got like a bandolier with uh, more grenades on should really just place that in the center of the frame there. It is Colerus. Colerus, I guess, is a, a potential pronunciation there. Um, yeah, so he's got a, almost like a grill for a mouth on the helmeted head there, you can see. Uh, the Nurgling on the base has got its like mechanical guts spilling out or a chain coming from its guts, perhaps. He's just pulled the pin on that um, blight grenade there. And he's about to launch it and he's got a gun slung over his shoulder. A very unique looking backpack there too. Um, it comes here. This is the unique looking bit of the backpack there. And there's the pin. It's a very chunky pin that isn't it. But obviously if they did it the actual size of, um, you know, to scale then it'd be a very delicate piece of material, so it's easier for them to just do that. So the two head options here, as you can see, ah, I like it. It's like a, uh, almost like, uh, I don't know, like a, an insect's mouth of some sort uh, that he's got there. And then the helmeted option is like bug-eyed helmet with a rebreather on the front there. It's a really unique looking miniature, this one, with the bulky sort of barrel top part of the backpack there uh, and then like the three circles Nurgle symbol on the backpack too excellent looking miniature this one with a, an, an awful lot of character I don't think though I don't think it's it would be too difficult to convert this into a non Nurgle miniature if you wanted to convert this into a regular space marine miniature you just file down the leg areas uh, and then a bit of green stuff and then you can swap the head out um, you could swap the shoulder pads out and still have him holding a stick bomb if you wanted. Uh, it's not exactly Space Marine issue, you tend to see grenades on Space Marines more similar to what you get on the bandolier here, so you could just swap the arms out if you wanted to. 
Um, yeah, so it's interesting to see whether we can convert these to regular Space Marines, um, but for the Death Guard players, it's a superb looking miniature with an awful lot of character. So this one is, hmm, 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 hmm. I thought for a split second there, I thought it was the one I just opened. Um, let's see, what's what weapons has he got? He's got a bolt gun. He's holding it in his hand, by the looks of it. Um, yeah, so he's holding it across his chest, right hand on the pistol, which means he is uh, none of these guys. Which means he must be this guy, uh, Gurg the Fowl. So this is a guy with a really, uh, like, almost a flensed skull for a head. Is that the right word, flensed skull? Uh, I don't know if that's the right word. But let's uh, see if we can find that head on there. There's his helmeted head. And we've got a Nurgling there as well. Just there. Where's his regular head? Scanning, scanning. There's another Nurgling there. I can't see his regular head. Ah, it's right in the middle there. I'm just absolutely missing it. Yeah, so that's uh, in the centre of the frame there now, is his regular head. And it's the, the flash has been stripped back off it, which is what I was going for with. As soon as I'm talking, it's going out of focus. Um, but yeah, it's a, a flensed skull look. I don't know if that's the right word, but for me, um, that's what I'm going for. So there we go. That is this guy. We don't need the pamphlet. We just need this. So this is the Plague Champion by the looks of it. Um, or is it? It's a dude with a knife anyway. Let's grab that booklet again. No, this isn't the Plague Champion. This is Clotigus. Um, which is, I'll show you here, uh, this dude here, Clotigus. So he's got like a bionic eye in the center of his face above a fly like mouth. That banner's fantastic with the Nurgling sort of forced into it. And then he's got uh, some other Nurgling slug-like creatures on the base as well there. So let's take a look at that banner with the Nurgling there. Absolutely such characterfulness in that uh, little bit of design there. He does have a bear head just there in the center of the screen. Um, it's, it's very uh, mutated, fly-like. He's almost got... I think he's got like a um, a tentacle coming from it. But then the other face, uh, the other um, head rather, is the fly-like Death Guard helm. The helm's mutated into the flesh of his body perhaps. Um, we get to see the front of the miniature there, bloated torso, as is often seen on Death Guard with these like antler or bone-like protuberances and growths coming off. So this is the fifth one. Come on, come on. Oh, this is a dude with the big gun. Yeah, so he goes by the name of Morslug. He's got candles like all over his back and everything. And his, uh, <laughs> looks like this, the Nurgling at the bottom there has got candles on himself as well. Uh, but he's sort of eating whatever's dripping off of the gun there, off the blight spewer. <laughs> I think it's a blight spewer or blight sprayer. Uh, I can't remember which. So, let's take a look at this boy. The gun, a little Nurgle circle symbols on the gun there, all over. Um, the stuff dripping out, where's that? There it is. So the stuff dripping out there, which is what the Nurgling is, trying to get his hands on the candles on top of the backpack there. Uh, you can see the feet are molded to the base as well. Oh, he's got a very a pigeon-toed stance there. I didn't even notice that on the miniature itself. Um, or not on the miniature itself, but the, the picture of the miniature itself is a very pigeon-toed stance, or am I looking at it backwards? No, I think that's the front. No, that must be the back of the stance, mustn't it? Let's have a look again at this... Uh, yeah, he's not pigeon-toed, he's, uh, he's got his feet pointing outwards, not inwards. Um, so yeah, it's just uh, slightly confusing the way the feet are placed on the base there. Um, but that is a fantastic looking miniature, looking at the front of the backpack there, and then it's got this tank that feeds into the gun, into the weapon. 
uh, comes down underneath and then feeds round into the weapon there. Let's look for his heads. What? Ah, right, okay, so his head's a little difficult to see here. Try and get that to focus on that very specific part. I think it's going to be a little tricky. There we go. So, yeah, it's a little difficult to see, but... Let's see if we can get it to focus right on it. Mm, I think because I'm moving and everything, the camera's struggling to focus. But... If I bring it up, oh wow, oh wow, yeah, so you can sort of see his face there a little bit, again, tricky to see, but that's the, uh, I've gone the wrong way there, that's one of the heads and the other one's the one with the candles on, uh, here, three ice, eye slots and the candles on top there. Moving on to the last one, which is the Plague Champion, theoretically, provided... I have got one of each of these miniatures. So, all going well, this should be Plague Champion Gangrus, who I will build for you. Um, and I'll show you how easy it is to um, place that there, how easy it is to build these. I thought there was nothing in there then. Yeah, there's nothing else in there. So we've got the booklet there and everything. This is indeed the Play Champion Gangrus. Looking at the uh, mouth all over the front of the torso there. The cape marking him out as a character, of course. As is often the case on GW miniatures. Extra bit of embellishments like that give you a good idea of who the characters are in a squad. Plasma gun there. Uh, plague sword. I'd say, it could be a plague knife, but I'd guess plague sword. Uh, his face is less mutated, though he has a horn protruding from his skull. Uh, a really nice grill looking um, helmet there. Yeah, fantastic looking miniature overall, he's nurgling. Let's take a look at that. He's messing around with some power cables by the looks of it. And then he's got a second nurgling for good measure on the top of his power pack as well. So, let's get this down to the table and see if we can't build that for you. I'll zoom right in. This, these miniatures come on this sprue which is quite easy to just bend the, uh, bend the bits off. Um, if you can't do it though, it is worth just getting a knife on it or something like that. Um, this actually feels a lot harder than the last, last one I had to, to bend bits off. This bit comes off nicely though, so this one twiddles. And uh, you just rock it back and forth gently, and then it should come off for you, theoretically. Just bend the sprue, bend, bend the frame of the sprue, and then the bit should come off for you. Now, with a GW mold line remover, you can easily clean up these little nubbins of material left on the various parts. You know what? This isn't as easy as uh, GW have said it is. And I've built a previous one a lot easier they will come off like the helmets will quite easily because it's just on a single point of connection and various arms will and stuff like that but the the ones that have three or four points of connection are quite difficult to remove um but let's get all the easy to remove bits off and they'll attack the rest with a knife nurgling there we go I don't want to snap anything you see and if it's got three points of connection it makes pivoting a lot harder to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the knife now and uh, snap one of these extra bits of connection or go through them. Even with the knife it's a little tricky. So this is just a box opening knife though, it's not a scalpel or anything like that. Let's get that and then we can just pop that off. So, let's see, just checking I'm still in focus, and I'm going to try and build this fella on screen for you. Um, his instructions make it look pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, we don't need that base just yet. Let's take the front part of his body, the back part of his body, and the head. I think I'll go for the helmeted head on this, this fella. It's a really nice helmet, that. It'd be a shame not to use it on something. If I didn't use it on this miniature, I'd use it on... Um, 
on another miniature for sure for a conversion in my death guard forces maybe one of the easy to build miniatures these theoretically are easy to build um, but when I'm doing it on camera and trying to make sure everything's staying focused it does become a little bit more tricky to build what I'm going to do is sit down and just hope it remains focused it's only got the one major point of connection there so I need to get that one lined up ah there we go right so I've got that in there Drop the helmet in now. That should slot in nicely. Now if these are a little bit too long, which that feels like it probably is, um, I'll just need to trim it down. But I'm just gonna force it for the time being because I have built some miniature. Yeah, that feels like it's just too long, That um, the peg on the back piece there, but I'm gonna continue nonetheless. And uh, chuck the rest of the pieces on because I just wanted to see how easy this was to put together first time. There we go, and putting them in the wrong place there. So that one went in nicely. It, these easy to build miniatures can be a little hit and miss. I've had real trouble with Stormcast miniatures um, in the past, but the older Space Marines I've had in the past have been really easy to go together and gone together quite well for me. Whereas other people I know have commented that they've had nothing but trouble with Space Marines. And I think, you know, it's basically, like I said, it's just a bit hit and miss, depending on which ones you get and uh, which, how well they've been cast and stuff, I guess. Not sure if you can hear that buzzing right now, but there is a fly flying about the place. A fantastic sign of Nurgle's blessing. I've not even looked at uh, how that goes on. Let's just slot that in there, should be right. And then the backpack or the cape first. And the backpack goes onto the cape. And then the cape onto the pin at the back. There we go, so that is more or less the character built in you know a matter of minutes that was probably mostly off screen by the looks of it <laughs> unfortunately it looks like i've uh, gone off screen with that but that's mostly built there's like a big gap there so like i said just test the fit first and then trim down those pegs if you need to um i've not had an issue with space rings in the past but death guard i had a little bit of an issue and my stormcast i had major issues with um so yeah there we go that's how easy they go together not as easy as you might think despite the fact that they're Supposed to be super easy to build these ones. Um, I'll just fade out of the show now, I guess. So one of each in the display case or the display, the dispenser, that's what Games Workshop call it. One of each in the dispenser boxes. Um, so it's a really good way to guarantee you get one of each of the miniatures by buying one of those dispenser boxes. They seem to be sold out everywhere now, these Death Guard blind boxes. Hopefully they'll get some more back in stock for those people out there that have missed out on them. If you want to see more Space Marine Hero unboxings in the future, then check back on the channel because I'll do another mass unboxing at some point. I've got both series one and series three, a fair few of each of the boxes. So um, you should be able to see more unboxings like this in the coming weeks, probably. Um, I was thinking about doing just one mass unboxing for all three um, Space Marine Hero series, but uh, I figured I'd do the Death Guard now, seeing as though they're freshly released and then we could get to the Terminators or the regular Power Armor guys in the future. We'll leave it there for now guys, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, if you'd like to help support the channel, you can do so by pledging to my Patreon, should be a link about here, um, and then there's a couple of videos here for you to check out at your leisure. Thanks very much for watching guys, and I'll see you on the battlefield.